So let's talk about the GPT store. So this email that came out was super short, had like three bullet points that basically said, hey, the store is coming and your GPTs are set to public if you if you want to participate, basically. What we think that we can expect from the GPT store is some combination of the following um, ways to monetize GPTs. The second um, thing that we're probably going to see is uh, GPTs that are part of some aggregate monetization thing where all the GPTs that are used have this pool of money behind them. And, and this to me reminds me of the Amazon um, Kindle store and this program called KDP Unlimited, where people, you, you can pay, I think it's like $19 a month on Amazon to read unlimited books, but it's only books that are in the KDP Unlimited program. So um, anyone who's thinking about monetizing GPTs in this sort of like, you know, group compensation model needs to really be thinking about the branding of their GPTs and how they're using the the very few words that you can put in there um, in terms of making it so that anyone who comes across that GPT is instantly going to fall in love with it. What we don't say is so that the Amazon algo, you know, appreciates how popular this book is and boosts it to the top. But that's kind of how we're doing things. So creators like the people on this call who have an audience, who have a newsletter, who who post on X and get um, you know traction, you will when you release your GPT will probably want to think about the marketing behind that GPT. I feel like if somebody can do this, it hopefully will be me. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. So. Um,